Good morning. So uh, today is something different. Um, you might not know, but um, from a day job, I work for a company called Delicious Brains that does um, developer focused uh, WordPress plugins and services. Um, and I'm the lead developer on one of the plugins called WP Offload Media. That's the logo. Um, and WordPress 5.8 is in the late stages of um, getting ready for release. And yesterday um, I found a bug um, while testing one of the new features that I hadn't seen um, mentioned before. It was um, showing in a WP Tavern um, post and for some reason I'd not seen that feature before. Um, and I found a bug. So I raised a, um, a ticket on WordPress and It's, it caused a few problems. <laughs> uh, people are a little bit worried about it. So they've basically set this new um, filter as experimental, um, just to set expectations because at the moment um, it could have some edge case side effects that I found. Um, and others have got other um, potential problems with it as well. I don't think this is the only one. Um, but you know, um, if, if you're able, um, it's, you know, and you raise a ticket or a bug, it's, uh, it's only polite to try and fix it. Um, so yesterday evening I had a good go at, um, trying to fix it. Um, and I've got a fair way, um, towards that, um, very rough code, a bit of a mess. Um, and they've just released um, release candidate four of uh, WordPress 5.8. So um, although this is probably not going to get into 5.8, um, if I do manage to get a fix, it might go into 5.8.1. Um, or it may just be like something for someone to riff on and to do a better job than, than I do. But either way, I thought I'd have a go at it. Um, and it's been a long time since I did any um, WordPress core um, dev work anyway. Um, so, so I'm going to set up a WordPress uh, core SVN based um, site uh, to work on um, and then going to validate that the bug is still there um, and then I am going to attempt to try and fix it um, and get as far as, as far as I can in the time I've got anyway. So uh, let's have a go. Um, so a long time ago, um, over six years ago, I, I wrote uh, a blog post when uh, after I'd been doing a little bit of um, WordPress core development as part of uh, Delicious Brains um, scheme, I don't know, I don't know how you call it, but basically we contribute back to open source um, a number of hours per month, basically, um, we try and give back. Um, and so I'm going to use some of this as the basis of my uh, setup. Uh, there's a few things in here. I know about, but also there's some nice uh, articles, docs on make.wordpress. Um, so I've got a couple of things here to uh, riff off as well. And because my development environment has changed quite a bit since I wrote this, uh, this post, um, I'll probably end up using mostly stuff from here. Um, and that may be an opportunity for me to go back and update this docs, this um, this blog post in the future, um, if I find anything that's different. Um, and then uh, so I've got one here which is on about the installing the uh, development uh, version of WordPress, um, and then there's one about doing patches as well. Um, 
which is quite quite straightforward. So uh, let's get going. Um, so I'm going to basically be doing this um, because I use a very specific um, dev environment, um, which is based on containers. And I need to be careful about where I put my code. So uh, let's get going. So I'm going to go into my sites and I'm going to make a new site and we'll call it trunk. And then I'm going to go into trunk and check out WordPress. And it's going to go directly into here. Um, like that. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to create a database for it. What's wrong there? Mousy, mousy. Interesting. Let's try that again. Oh, must have typed the wrong password. Right. Great database trunk. Uh, and one there, I'm just going to create one for doing unit tests as well. I might do some of that later. We'll see. Um, just do that. That's fine. Um, and then I also need to set up a little um, DNS entry. Um, my new host, my new site. Devil box. Um, Devilbox uh, is quite good at picking up and doing DNS stuff, but I do sometimes have issues with it. So it's just safer just to set them up straight away. I'm not really typing very well today. All right, let's go. So now I need to just do some setup of the actual site. So for Devilbox, um, you have like your you're containing um, directory, and then you usually have a subdirectory like htdocs, which is what I've got at the basis at the moment. So I basically need to build um, build this Word, WordPress um, site because at the moment, when I've done, when you do a raw checkout of WordPress core, it's just the source. There's no actual site there to be used. Um, so I'm going to do uh, npm install. Pretty sure that's mentioned in the setup. Yeah, run the installs. Well, that's for the actual site setup. It doesn't mention that at all. It's funny. Hmm. But I know for sure it doesn't work for me without doing a npm install and using the build directory. Okay. Chromium. Hmm. I presume that's for some sort of acceptance test or something then. I don't think I saw that the last time I did this. OK, 
Okay. That's good. Um, let's see, I think. Off we go. Scripts. Build. So I could do a grunt build, but I can also do npm run build. And there's a test as well. Okay. And a watch. It could be interesting. That could be useful. Okay, let's just do an npm. Build. That might take a little while. I'll just quickly check what that text message was that came in just before. It's fine. Has my wife been cheeky about something I said? All right. That has a lot more JavaScript compared to the last time I'm <laughs> sort of uh, with all the React stuff they have now. Right, so now I've got a build directory up here, uh, which is going to be where... I really can't type this morning. What's going on? That is basically an install of WordPress. Um, and that's what I want to use as the basis for my site. Um, but my devil box usually uses htdocs as its thing. So um, I just need to link that up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll work. I've not done that on this box for a while, so. Yeah, because Simlink should just do its thing. Right, okay, let's see uh, if we have. There we go. All right. It's been a while. This is going to just generate um, a very basic WP config automatically in the right place. So, right database name. Well, it was called trunk. I just created it before. My username is root on the database. The password. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if you see that because it's a local environment and it's very 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 secure but hey okay right and the host i have to use the ip address because i'm in that container environment and it gets a bit nutsy otherwise and then okay let's see if it does its thing that, that looks successful good um i'll just call it chunk Ooh. And be me. In fact, I've probably got a password set up for this from the last time I did this. Uh, but yeah. We'll just use this new one. Okay.
Genau. Ähm. Yeah. Okay. Update with that. That's fine, because I haven't got it anywhere else. Did that do it? Interesting. Didn't get a little notification there. Oh, of course I've got the notifications off. That's fine. Okay, right, let's, uh, don't do that, I don't need that, uh, that's fine, we'll just stick that up there, right. So we have a very simple site, seems to be there, um, let's just make sure that all the databases stuff is working. That's such a good article. Ah, that seems successful. Good. Right, so things are working. We have a site. So I want to test this problem. Um, and so let me describe the problem to you. Um, I didn't really give you much info on that. So there's a new filter uh, called Image Editor Output Format. Um, and that allows you to. Um, define thumbnail size, uh, sorry, the thumbnail format you want WordPress to generate. So if you upload, say, a JPEG, you might say, well, actually, I want all thumbnails for all JPEGs to actually be WebP files. Um, and you could say the same for PNGs as well, make them all WebP files. Um, this potentially causes problems because if you update if you upload uh, picture.jpg um, and it generates a bunch of thumbnails, say like picture-150x150.webp and all the other sized files, um, as let's put here, look. Um, you then come along with a another image in the same month or whatever. Um, if you've got the year month um, formatting on in WordPress on the media library, um, WordPress is not going to recognize. And if you come, if you come in with a picture.png, uh, it's going to check whether picture.png has already been used in that folder. It's not going to check whether picture-150x150.webp that is going to be generated by this PNG uh, being uploaded, whether that exists already. Um, normally, if um, WordPress finds um, a file, a picture or whatever in the media library uh, folder that's got the same base name, it will version the one you're about to upload. So you'll get a picture dash one dot png or whatever and then it bases all the um, thumbnails off of that so it'd be picture dash one dash 150 x 150 and so on um, but at the moment it's not doing that check to see whether uh, uh, the alternate formats are going to clash on the thumbnail sizes potentially and this this uh, is a real issue when you have things like a large JPEG, um, which um, may get the dash scaled as well. So you need to check that as well. It gets a little bit complicated. And it also gets very complicated if, say, you use, um, if you want basically all your thumbnails to be JPEGs. So you might then set um, only this but with image JPEG um, as the result, 
which is the thing I'm going to chest because I think that's the most obvious. Um, it's the easiest to see the problem because when you're looking at your file system, web P files don't generally get rendered, so you can't see the differences. So I'm going to test with that setup. Uh, so let's try, let's grab my little example filter there and I'll alter it in a minute. So, um, right, so let's do a quick test. Um, without the filter, so you see what normally happens. Then with the filter to see the problem. Um, and then uh, we'll do uh, we'll do this uh, fix, hopefully. Right. So do, 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 do. Build content uploads. Right, so there's nothing in there at the moment. Um, I'll do just an add media. I'm going to select a file. And I've got this, I've got two example pictures here. I've got PNG there and a picture there. The different pictures, same base file name. Um, so let's. Um, Let's upload the PNG first. Should we do that first? Yeah. Okay. So it's nice and obvious. And you see all those pictures there. That's all the thumbnails. If I then do the other one, this is without any filtering. So it's just going to do JPEGs now. And you see all the different ones there. And because they've got a different extension, you see different things. They're all in place as they should be, including the scaled, which is taken over the full size. Let's delete them. They've gone. Now let's implement that filter. So I'm going to do that as a part of a, I've got like a, um, I've got a plugin that I use a lot. It's our tweaks plugin. I'll just do the uh, basic install, which has got nothing activated yet. I'm going to edit it. I'm just going to do this because uh, it's quick and easy for me to do this here. So rather than sticking it in a theme. Right. Hit that. Right. Dump. What we're going to do here is we're going to just do the, J the JPEG thing. So I'll take out that. Take a copy of that. I'm going to leave that there for later testing. And then I'm going to put that in. But I'm going to change all J PNG thumbnails to be JPEGs. So any PNGs get image JPEG thumbnails. Okay, so that should have updated that now. Um, if I go, where's everything gone? Oh, there it is. Back to the media library. Now if I repeat that, Screenshot same PNG first. So now they're all coming out as JPEGs. 
all look good, good. Yeah, great. Let's also update, add a peer, uh, the JPEG version. And oh no, it's just overwritten a bunch of them. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Interesting. Did I do that right the wrong way? Yes. Because the JPEG. Right, okay, yeah, I did that wrong because there's already a test for that. Um, looking at sized versions. Yeah, so I actually did that test around the wrong way. Okay. This is where the bug is uh, for this variation. Um, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit difficult to test when you're trying to use standard formats here um, compared to WebP where it just, it, it's always a problem. Um, right, so let's do that again. So this time, do the JPEG first. Okay. Now do the PNG. And it overwrites a bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because what happens is um, the PNG unique file name test um, looks only at PNG files, and there weren't any. Um, whereas when you do the JPEG second, it looks or it looks for if there's any JPEG um, thumbnails, basically, uh, and they already were. So that's my test. I need to do JPEG first, and then put in a PNG, which is going to convert um, to JPEGs. Uh, and we basically got a problem now because, as you can see, both thumbnails are now wrong there. In the media library, they show something else. Um, I think when you go into the pictures, you get even you get stranger things. You get that's correct there because it picks up on the full size there, um, and that does the right thing as well because that's bit that's picking up on the original picture there um, somehow. Um, but thumbnails are all over the place um, and not correct. So that's what we've got to try and fix. I'm going to find a way of uh, making sure that when you upload a PNG that's going to convert to JPEGs, um, that it doesn't overwrite existing JPEG thumbnails. So let's delete that. Okay, so let's do some Cody stuff. So I'm going to open. Uh, sites. I need that. It's going to take a little while to do its uh, index in there, I think. I probably should open that up a little bit earlier ago because it's got a lot of files to look at. Okay, 
source time anyway. <clears throat> so what I want to do, uh, my plan is to update the WP unique file name function. So let's, uh, I should probably wait for that to finish really before I start go looking. I know where it is, so I'll just go get it. It's in functions. Okay. So I had a little play with this last night, um, as I said before, and I got to a point where I kind of have a fix, um, but it's not complete. It only works in, um, it works in like a, a straight scenario, but not in a little edge case scenario that I also want to test. And it's really rough code. It's just like do the bare minimum to get it working. Um, so basically in WP unique file name, uh, you can pass in a, um, a callback, which basically bypasses um, the bulk of the actual testing that this file function does. So I feel that I should probably not, um, not do anything which might affect the results of that callback that might have some repercussions. Um, so I basically have to do it in here after all this stuff. So here, what, what happens is it, this is the little test there to see whether there could potentially be, um, sized, scaled or rotated thumbnails. Um, and it does some checks for that. Uh, and then it does various extension checking and stuff as well blah, 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 does more stuff. Um, and then it does, um, it basically checks to see whether uh, there's any files that could potentially match. And if it does, it keeps incrementing the version on the file name until it doesn't find one. Um, okay. Nope. Okay, so we want to be, I think, here after that. Okay, so this is within the section which is the non callback stuff. Okay. Um, and I have, I have my code saved. Big chunk of it. It's a real mess, but it's something to start from. Ugh. Where are you? Okay. Right, well, before I do, before I actually save that file and do some testing, I better just check my SVN's working here. Okay. Uh, SVN diff. Good, nothing yet because I haven't saved anything, no differences. That's fine. Okay, let's get a shot of that. That's in the way. Right, so what am I doing? So basically, um, I'm doing a recursion, um, as you see from this little symbol here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see whether there could be any different output formats. Um, 
based on the MIME type of the input file. Um, and then in this particular code at the moment, which is not correct uh, fully, I check to see whether that uh, filter comes back and says, yep, this MIME type may output this other MIME type. Um, and if it does, I then basically construct a WP unique file name call with that um, new formats extension um, and see if it finds um, a, if it basically has to version the file name. And if it does, um, we use that new file name swapped back to the original um, extension. So that's what we're doing here. So basically we check to see, make sure that we are actually dealing with an image. Um, we, I've got some error log in here, um, which is a good point. I need to go check, turn that on in a sec. Um, and then um, if we basically, we then run the filter that is in the image editor um, unfortunately, you can't use the function where that um, uh, that filter is actually originally applied uh, because it's part of the WP image editor class, uh, which can only be instantiated with a file to process. Um, and when you're in WP unique file name, you don't actually have a real file to process. Um, what's happening is you're being given a proposed file um, and you have no context as to where the actual file is so that it could be loaded into the image editor and then processed. So I can't instantiate a subclass of WP image editor to then call the function that does the check and does the formatting and all that kind of stuff. So I can't do any of that, but the filter is simple enough. Um, and I can just basically run that, see if we get any output that matches the MIME type of the input file that we are hoping to use, especially as the file that we're about to check, the file name may actually not even exist um, because we are in a proposed file name state. So we can't, we just can't use that, that function at all in the context that it is. Maybe in the future that can be extracted um, so that um, that bit of functionality that does the output check in and whether it, what 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 files are going to be um, output maybe that can be extracted and this can be uh, cleaned up but at the moment it's very tied into the WP image editor uh, so I'm basically just running the filter that's in there um, and then I am um, check to see whether we've got the MIME type. Input MIME type is one of the keys as per the filter that you saw before. Um, and just make sure that someone hasn't um, done something where they've just done uh, JPEG to JPEG. I don't know why you would, but yeah, you know, it could happen. And then you then you get into a real weird um, infinite loop basically. Maybe. Um, so, but I do need <clears throat> this get extension uh, function. Uh, so where are we? HD docs build source. We'll get that one. So luckily, <laughs> well, actually not luckily. Um, so this is a protective function. So I'm going to struggle with that. Um, when I was doing my um, ad hoc testing, I basically overrode that, made it public. Uh, so it worked. So at the moment, I'm probably going to get failures. Um, and so I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of work in this function to do this. And what it does is it says for this MIME type, just grab the first extension uh, as like the default extension and return that. Um, and that's purely so that we can construct a file name based on the, the new output format. Um, so we get an alt alternate extension, uh, make sure that we do have something real and it's not the same as the input file. Cause again, you might have 
um, different MIME types that for some reason have the same extension. It's, you know, it's possible, especially as everything's filtered and something could go wrong. Um, we then do, uh, we construct a alternate file name based on the base of the proposed file name um, with a new alternate extension, run it through WP unique file name uh, to get another alternate file name and then just check to see whether something's changed. Uh, if it's changed, we're going to use it. So we construct um, a new proposed file name um, using the new version, stripping off the alternate extension and reapplying the extension of the original file. Um, so I'm going to basically just save that and then I'm going to go update my WP config to make sure I get lots of errors because I'm going to because of that static. So in here, let's just do set I spell. So here I need to change that to true. I want debug output. I want to log it. And I do not want to display it. So let's grab that. So that should be debug log debug display off. Okay. Now I'm hoping that, that doesn't get clobbered when I build. So we have, we saved that. NPM. see what happens. Sites, trunk, build, content. Um, okay. Just cat that WP config and make sure it's still there. That's what I expect. It does. Good. Right, and have we got changes now? We do. Cool. Just the one. So, good stuff. All right, so that in theory means the site has been updated. Uh, right, so do we have a debug log yet? We don't. No. All right, let's just run the test again um, and see whether we have any improvements. Uh, so what did we say? We need to do the JPEG first. So that's normal and then the PNG. Yeah, yeah, see that's what I expected because of that um, protected static. So if I have a look at, let's give you a debug log now, yeah. Here's all my output, PHP photo error, uncle error, called a protected method, WP image, get extension. 
this is problematic um, because unfortunately this is used in subclasses like this. Um, there it is. And there. And is it and it's used in there as well. So I can't just and because it's um potentially overridable someone could have a subclass of WP image editor um and they could override it. Um I can't just change to public. Uh, because they may still be using protected. So I basically need to extract the contents of that. I can't, I, I had a look before and I couldn't see uh, any other version of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab it. Actually, I can do that a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then. We got that similar. I'll just stick it next to it. Uh, we got any formatting stuff? Oh, that's true. Uh, right, okay. So file type and extension, that looks good. Yeah, because we, uh, we use that. Yeah. Let's stick a version of that in here. So let's say um, WP default extension mime type. Not sure why you would have a null mime type. But you wouldn't get anything back, would you? Hmm. Anyway, I'll leave it as is. Um, and let's say we're going to target this for 581. And over here, get a shot of this. So we've basically extracted that now. And then in my other changes, don't need to do this anymore. Which is nice. just do this 
use the, the extracted function. I think that's good. I didn't explain why I've got these statics here. And that's purely because, um, as we're doing a recursive check, um, we do not want to re-enter uh, into this. Uh, so we don't want to be going, OK, from PNG to JPEG, and then potentially from JPEG um, to WebP, if that was one of the formats. Uh, we only want to see whether the output of this input file is potentially wrong. Or, and that's what this to do is about, we'll catch the reverse case where we have, say, a JPEG we're uploading, um, and that doesn't get changed. It's always JPEGs. But uh, it's potentially going to clobber um, what a existing PNG could um, create if its thumbnails were regenerated. So say there's a PNG um, which is already existing on the system um, prior to this change, prior to the filter being implemented, um, it will have maybe PNG um, thumbnails. Um, but if you did a regenerate thumbnails, um, you may get JPEG thumbnails instead. That clobber the new uh, JPEG files thumbnails. So we need to, I need to implement that scenario as well, which I haven't done yet. Right, so we have a build. Let's see. I'll just delete that. Cool, and now I'll try like so. Is it still the same? Yeah. Right, let's test this then. Let's see if we have anything working. So JPEG first, get the files, everything's hunky-dory, do the PNG. It's renamed it, that's good. Success. Right, job done. Well, ish. <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> so we have um, the basis. Um, we have working code, but it's not very pretty. Um, and it's all very much dumped into an existing file, uh, existing function. Um, uh, I think it's probably best that this gets extracted um, into its own little function. Um, and we also need to implement this stuff here as well. Um, so let's just quickly check the diff there. Uh, Okay. Looks all right. Let's 
So, um, what are we going to do here? What are the inputs? The inputs are, we need to pass into this section, the directory and the file name. Because we're going to determine the type and the MIME type, so we're good there. Uh, and we're going to run the apply filters ourselves. We've got that. Uh, are they extension also needs to come in? Although we could potentially grab that from the file name. It's, interesting. it's actually kind of, <laughs> kind of just want to do this bit <laughs> of the uh, apply of the uh, unique file name filter. Okay, and I don't think there's anything else that's input. And then basically the output is the file name whether it's changed or not. Okay. Let's take that. I think a couple of a second because I'm going to need to do some stuff here. Right, let's stiff shoot two sixty five. Right, this is going to go here then. Okay, this is a helper function as well, so let's keep same kind of thing. So function WP check return it. Formats. Format. Formats. Uh, yeah. Something like that. And we will basically use, yeah, let's do this. So we're going to pass in a file name, uh, an extension, and a directory, just like that filter above unit does, which might be handy. And then we're going to wallop in all that code. And we're going to return whatever the file name is after processing. And take that out, it's that is explanatory. So we have 
Oh, I never checked the output. Yeah, no, I did its thing. That's good. Uh, so, what do we have? Um, if check in alternates, if empty check in alternates, do the thing based on the thing. Get the mime type, only do it if we're an image. Apply the filter. Check we've got something to do. We'll come back to this in a minute. Use the new function. Do the do, do the do. Return potentially. Fine. Okay. Uh, no, there'll be a string. That's a string. That's also a string. And that's a string. That should be check or turn it. Output format. Uniqueness. Yeah, let's just make things really hard for people to type. <laughs> I'm sure. If I do submit this batch, then uh, someone will um, help me come up with better names because that's not really great. But hey. um, okay, helper function WP unique file name to check potential. Turn it put, put formats for images. We'll make it very specific as to what it does. Okay. Let's see if we can get this usable. See if it works. Okay. Delete all the things. Zip file name, extension, and directory, just like in the filter. Okay. If a different file type might be produced for an image. Check file name uniqueness for that format. I'll do. Okay. Buildy, buildy. I probably should have run the uh, the watcher, but
I am to check out. I just had a horrible feeling that I wasn't recording this then. Right. Okay. Media library. Delete stuff. Do the debug. Add new. Select files. Um, JPEG. PNG. Did I click? Still works. That's good. What happens if I add another JPEG? Two. And another picture, J uh, PNG. Three. That's good. Alrighty. So that's working. Let's clean up. Uh, right, let's double check this output. Yeah, so it comes in with picture JPEG first. Does the check, says everything's good. Then we have picture PNG. It says, uh oh, it does picture JPEG, and that's good. Then we have picture two coming in. It's already recognized, that's good, so it doesn't need to do anything. And then PNG comes in, isn't recognized by the normal WP unique file name. But we do, and we do picture three. Good stuff. Okay. So now we have a working solution, but uh, there's a little bit of a wrinkle here, which we saw, I think, in the first time. So here we've got to do. Now what I've written late last night, so I'm not sure if it'll make any sense. Need to catch case where new file is another format's alternate already. And so other format needs checking too. E.g. PNG is converted to JPEGs, but we're uploading a JPEG. Yeah, so. All right. So that's correct, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the case where if we add PNG, and then we add a JPEG, it's working. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's right. But this is the scenario. So let's uh, delete them. Add new again. Add the PNGs. No, let's 
do it the other way. Let's do it the way it should be. So we'll deactivate my little tweak there. We'll add the PNG. And it will be a standard PNG now. All good. Activate the PNG to um, JPEG. Yeah. Add the JPEG. which is fine for the moment. Then I'll quickly add regenerate thumbnails. Don't know whether this will work or not. Not tried this yet, but in theory, I can break things with this. So if I go into here and regenerate thumbs, let's do a delete. And not skip. We'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. So now it's basically overwritten. Uh, regenerate thumbnails is gonna have issues. Right, um, so, um, what I've done now is I've regenerated and it's created all these new ones. Um, it doesn't think, <laughs> regenerate thumbnails doesn't understand the new um, filter yet. So it doesn't understand that this is now over here. It's now a JPEG. Um, presumably at some point it will get updated for that. Um, but as you can see, I've now clobbered all the, J all the thumbnails that were generated for this picture with the ones for this now. So that's a scenario I want to protect against. So let's delete these. Just do a quick test actually again, but we'll just do it with that in. So we'll do no. Yeah, yeah. All right, so a quick Quick turnaround for this would be if I do that and come in here, uh, delete all them. Then add the picture. Does that cause a problem as well? Yeah. So it's now using the same file name. Um, and so if I go into the original one. Regenerate thumbs. Even with skip and no delete. Yeah, it's overwriting again. Okay. Wait, that's fine. So we've got a quick and easy way of reproducing there. That's the scenario I need to fix. So, off we go here. I need to basically do an array keys and switch it around or flip. Let's 
flip the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Because flip all will give me an alternate set. So Hmm. It all depends on how people implement this this filter as to whether uh, I can detect it or not. Because it is ephemeral. Because if people are actually using the input MIME type to restrict what the output is. Because if you remember, if I look at um, this, uh, in the example here, I'm always outputting these formats. But in theory, this function could also take, uh, what is it? A full path to the input file name and its MIME type. So in theory, people could restrict on that and say, okay, uh, just return um, if it's a PNG coming in, just return an array with that. And we wouldn't know about the JPEG version. Or they could return um, anything which isn't that type. Into some scenarios, yeah, that could be weird. Okay, um, but I can't really do anything about that. Um, but what I can do is, if they're using the format that I just had, I can try and just flip it and see whether, for my input, there is actually a source. So catch those PNGs potentially becoming JPEGs when I'm actually inputting the JPEG. So. <laughs> Right, um, let's do what we do is uh, formats. We could do mime types, can't we? Let's do mime types. Because we're in our own little world here. Mime types equals um, Let's think, how much do we want to do there? How much work do we want to do up front? We could do it <laughs> Yeah, I think we need to be a little bit more careful there. So let's do Let's do some of this. Take that. So, if not empty output formats.
Actually, no, think again. What I'll do is I will make this a little bit more considered. So what we we'll do is if If our input MIME type is in the list, or yeah, or it's in the list of outputs. Yeah. It's in the array. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need. Just do a quick auto format here. Do they use tabs or spaces here? Tabs are good. Okay. Right. So. So we know that we might be an input or we might be an output. In that case, we've got two things to do. So we need, I start getting rid of some of this debug stuff we've already used. Let's start concentrating on the core here. So what we're going to have to do is a for each, we're going to have to have um, Yeah, I mean, this might be another function, but for the moment, for each types, Yeah, no. Okay, let's do that. Where would he use that somewhere? No.
need to construct this in a minute, binary. Alt mime type. Going to get the extension. Going to construct a new file name for that new mime type extension. Test it. Check it potentially with that. And then go around the loop until we've exhausted all the alt mime types. So let's get the alt mime types. So we know the four first, easy peasy. Alt mime types. Equals. Uh, I need to do that. I need to do that in a test. redoing this basically, but I basically didn't want to do any work until we'd got this far. Ah! What are you doing there? Stop it. Thank you. Okay. It's a bit wordy, but we do at least, um, we know we're going to get one of these things. So if we get that, and then potentially what do we need to do now? Oh yeah, that's going to be problematic. There's two ways, but hmm. I guess I just want an indexed. Indexed array. Actually, it might be easy just to do a for each over it and then just take it out, take out either the, uh, the key or the value depending on, on the match. That'll be quickest because we really know we've got one or the other. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Then we only do one pass. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. This is, I might extract that. And do a one pass there. But anyway, for the moment, we'll do this fine. Um, okay. Uh, we'll just call that source and target. So quite simple stuff here now, so if source Called the mime type. Then that means we need the target. And then Yeah, now we're doing else if because we may have different formats that we don't care about. So we need to check them as well. Else if target because mime type. Oops. Do the same thing, but in reverse. This ain't pretty, but it might just work. So we come in, we go, hey, yep, let's start because we're not starting already. We get the current file type, which results in a MIME type. Uh, as long as we do we really, really, really have a MIME type, we make sure it's an image. And if we really do have an image, we start getting, we get the output formats. Um, as long as that's not empty and it is an array, because if it's not, then it's not valid. Um, And if we have at least one output for this mode type, or it is this mime type is actually the result of one of the inputs, we're going to proceed. We're going to go through them. And if the source is, we add it. And then the target is, we add it. Add the source. Hmm. We also want to do the case where both source and target are the same, and we do not want it. That's a good point. So, So 
going on with my editor today? Why did you do that? Thank you. Be really careful about the auto format in here because I don't want to disturb anything else in the file. So I have to select and do it. So here we go, right. So if both the source and the target are our input mime type, we're not dealing with it. If the source is our MIME type, we want the target. And if the target is our MIME type, we want the source. Because it should be different. Because we've just done that test here. So we should have thing that, and then we just want to do a unique on it as well. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, it's fine. All right, so it's got a little bit more complicated, <laughs> but we will see. Okay. It's fun out of that. Okay. Should be good now. Formatting's good. I hope. All right. Build. Now, in theory, we're not going to have any debug output if I've done it right. Okay, moment of truth. So, now I've got to remember what we were testing, what we were testing. So, we were doing add the PNG. Right, won't we? Yeah. Take out its JPEG thumbnails. Add the JPEG. Uh, and it, oh yeah, so that works. Yeah, yeah. So I recognise now that there was a picture that could potentially end up with JPEGs. 
Got any output? No, good. So that if I now, so it's missing that. So I go, oh, right, I need to regenerate the thumbnails for that. Yeah, skip anything that's already good. Don't delete any old ones, doesn't matter. And it's created all the new ones. So now we're good. We have what we expect. We have good picture there. We have all the thumbnails. I think we're good. Done, I think. Just check, um, make sure I haven't broken the normal format. So if I, so if I just do both at the same time, yeah, I'll probably do the PNG first, yeah. And then that's good. If I then delete them, and then add the JPEG first. So that's got its normal name. And then we add the PNG. That should have the one, yep. And if I add another PNG, that's two. If I add picture JPEG, that's three. I think we're good. Sorted really, isn't that? All right, just delete them out. Back to a clean state. Okay, right, uh, shall I? Five, three, six, six, eight. Okay, well, let's, um, let's do a diff on that. SVN diff, right through, um, PR minus E4 minus T and I pipe through that. Let's have a look. Yeah. PR. Okay. Why has I got hate up there? But the PR didn't work, did it? That should have worked. Is this a different thing to I am no child with and it's meant tabs? It is why. Oh. <laughs> That's why. That's better. Okay. Do, do, do.
Hmm. Do I need to put a sense on uh, on a checky thing? Or are they not? Oh, no, yeah, we do. Okay. Dink. So, make sure my code is formatted correctly. Oh, missed it. Let's do it again. Fine. Well, nothing changed. And. What else we got? Yeah, just that. It's hmm. better. Okay. What are you doing down there? Don't know. No one up here. Again, why? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Okay, well, I'm not reformatting you again, then, am I? I wonder why it's done that. Did that appear, did it? Oh, it did. Bug. Okay. Right. That's obviously something in my um, formatting. I'll have to sort that out. Okay. But we'll do that for the moment. And then the other change was in here. It's just that. That's fine. Okay. Final uh, quick check. Nothing's amiss. Right, and I believe there's a grunt command for this now. So, uh, what's my five, three, six, six, eight? And I'll just double check that is the command. Um, patchy patches, yeah. Upload patch and then the number. Quantum, okay. And that should, in theory, do the do. Um, and I might need my password for that. Not used this one before, so let's try it. Ugh. It wasn't modified. Which one about? Yeah. Upload. Oh, that's because it should be patch. Name. Dink. Ugh. Oh, 
Okay. Guess I have to do it old school then. <laughs> I wonder why that happened. I don't understand. Can I not do that? Hmm. All right. All right. F sphere diff redirect to five three six six eight dot diff. And then let's just look at that. Okay. Hold on. Let's just do the uh, set now spell. Looks good to me. All right then. All right, just refresh that, make sure nothing new has happened. No one else has patched already, have they? Nope. Okay. How do I add a patch? I think I just uploaded in my doesn't say on there. I guess I, it's been so long since I've done this. Okay. Well, let's do P. Nick, file name. To take into consideration. Alternate formats. Or the input for the uploaded image as well as as well as up there. Upload formats that may result in thumbnails. Current image. Oh, wow. Does that make sense? Let's see. Okay, so we have I want to add 
as patch. And needs testing. And where do I say that I've got an attachment? Or well, maybe do I do that up here? Do I just have to do add attachment? Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's not do that then. Let's just do it at the top there. Hard refresh so that I don't alter anything that I shouldn't. Check they're all still the same. Yep. Do that first then. Add another file. Sites trunk. See if that works. And so we can do that then. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, preview. We'll see whether I've done the right thing or not there. It's been a while. All right. Um, so that's it. Cool. All right. So I've now submitted a patch for this bug that I raised. And we'll go from there. We'll see what people think, uh, whether it's a go or whether it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> I think it's okay. Uh, it does the right things. I've tested it. We'll see. Uh, right, uh, I better head off and uh, get on with my day. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, take care.